Traders, FS Picoletta here. Today is Wednesday, October 23rd, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. But first, don't forget to check out my website, fxpicoletta.com, if you would like to get access to my swing trade signals, my daily members only live streams on Zoom, and my 34 video trading course, all included for only $30 per month. So the pound dollar and all dollar pairs really have been very, very bearish this month so far. And the pound is getting to the point where it's making an engulfing move too, which I think will confirm there'll probably a bigger move to the downside. I think it could end up being like a running flat type move because it does look like it possibly still could end up making a higher low and going back up. But even if it does do that, I would still expect a decent amount of downside potential first. Going down to the weekly time frame, we are finally starting to break Strutzer. So that's a good sign. So now that we're finally starting to break Strutzer, let's throw a Fibonacci retracement on there. And we'll keep an eye on our Fibonacci retracement level. So let's do that real quick. And there we go. So, now that we have broken, we know that the last series of higher highs, higher lows is over. Now, this definitely does, just like the other pairs, look like a possible 1, 2, 3 pattern up. Which, this also to me, especially looking at correlated pairs, looks like 1, 2, 3 down. So, 3 waves down, 3 waves up. Usually, that either leads to 1, 2, 3 waves down again for a 3, 3, 3. Or, it leads to 5 waves down for a uh, possible 3, 3, 5 pattern. I think it's more likely that we're making a 3-3-5 pattern and we'll probably eventually make a higher low, or if it's an expanding flat, then it'll make a lower low. Either way, let's take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we're finally getting that break of Strutzer. That pretty much proves to me that this whole series of higher highs, higher lows is over. Now, at some point, it probably is still going to have to make like a wave 2 and a wave 3, a wave 4 and a wave 5, if it is a 5-wave downtrend, which it looks like it is. But... Until it actually gives us a break of structure, the trend is down, and we do get sometimes runaway trends, which means that it doesn't really make that many pullbacks. It just keeps on going down and down and down with small pullbacks. Kind of seems like that could be what's happening right now. Going down to the 4 hour time frame, so my structure on the 4 hour is right here. The only thing that would make me even think about looking for buys as if price breaks and holds above this structure. Otherwise, I am doing absolutely nothing, just like I have been doing for several weeks now, ever since this break of structure. I've been doing nothing but looking for sorts at every single one of these pullbacks that I see for the continuation of the downtrend, which I will continue to do unless it breaks structure to the upside. Taking it down to the one hour time frame. So one hour time frame, the only thing that would turn me into a buyer is seeing a structure break way up here. We definitely do not have that. For me personally, every single move I see to the upside, I'm looking at it nothing more than a crescent to the last wave down. Just like this move up right here, looks like it was a crescent to this. And by the way, look what it had did. One, two, three waves up. It kind of oversought the FIB level a little bit, but definitely respected the 61.8. Nice, big, and golfing move to the downside another beautiful beautiful trend trade anybody that is just following along with the trend and going through every single chance they get like i've been recommending in all of my recent videos for the past several weeks has been making a killing in these markets anybody that keeps trying to go long thinking that they're gonna identify the end of this move down has probably been seeing a lot of damage in their trading account so what am i gonna do unless it breaks starts to the upside i'm gonna do nothing but look for sorts at every single chance i get so don't forget to join my free discord group which is linked down here in the corner and as always thank you and happy trading